welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing contouring and highlighting and specifically for beginners. So I'm going to be going really step by step giving detailed tips and tricks and just basically like my overall contour and highlight routine. And let me guys know, let me guys know, <laughs> let me know if you guys want me to do sort of like a series for beginners. So like makeup tutorials for beginners sort of thing, just like I did my drugstore series and I'm still doing my drugstore series because I think that would be really cool. I just did um, how to apply lashes for beginners and I've done a couple in the past as well so I was thinking just to do more just because I know a lot of you guys have been enjoying when I've been doing tutorials more so geared towards beginners and I hope that they are helpful so if you want me to do something like that definitely comment down below let me know and then also subscribe if you haven't already um and yeah look out for those videos so let's go ahead and get into this video Personally, I like to begin the highlighting process with my concealer, so today I'm going to be using this one from NARS. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. You do want to use a concealer shade that I would say is about two to three shades lighter than your foundation shade. So I like to use this one because it has a really nice peachy undertone to it, so it actually cancels out discoloration underneath the eyes. So if you have purple or dark circles, this is really going to help cancel it out, but it also does help to have that brightening effect that we're going for with our highlighters. So I take this and and I actually create like a little bit of a triangle so I'll apply it straight from underneath the eyes to about where the nose nostrils end and sort of go in like a little triangle motion then with the same concealer I'm taking that in between the brows and then up onto the forehead in a little palm tree motion and then down the bridge of the nose this you want to keep as straight as you possibly can because this is what's beginning our nose contour then I take it down the cupid's bow towards the lips and then continuing that line on the chin area then going back to the nose placing a little bit of the concealer on each side of that line that we've already created and lastly underneath the cheekbones where we're about to contour so this highlighting process is really going to give you a slim down effect it's going to bring out any areas that you've just brightened then we're going to add some contour onto the face using the benefit hula quickie contour stick now contouring is really important because that is the step in this whole routine that's really going to slim down any features on your face and kind of bring them back as some shadows and add dimension to the look so what we're gonna do is take our little quickie contour stick and just kind of go at it so I first like to take the contour underneath the cheekbones to really get that defined look that we want then I start to take the product up towards the temples and because I have a round face shape I like to really heavily contour the sides of my face to elongate it if you have more of an already naturally elongated face then you're gonna actually want to go lighter on the sides but heavier on the forehead area but like I just said for me I do go heavy on the sides and you can see I still follow that same technique up on the forehead so I tend to place most of the product on the sides and then just do a very small line on the highest forehead area then I move on to the nose contour because we already have that concealer down it actually makes it a lot easier to do the nose contour you kind of just go within the lines definitely underneath the nose to kind of give it that more uplifted look then you just want to blend everything out till it's nice and flawless I do like to start with the concealer areas just because those are the areas that we're highlighting those are the areas that we want to keep on the lighter side so I don't like to mix too much of the contour shade with the concealer so I start off with the concealer areas and then I just kind of blend it out to my little heart's desire and once I get to the contour areas I always use pressing motion so as not to wipe any of the hard work that we've done already and a little tip if you feel like you've added too much contour you can take a little bit of foundation and put it on to your beauty blender or beauty sponge and blend Blend that in between the contour and the highlighted areas so that it has more of a seamless finish going from light to dark. Before we go ahead and finish off the contouring and highlighting, um, you do want to set down the base at this point. So you can either use a translucent powder, you can use like Laura Mercier, Derma Blend, pretty much whatever you want, Cody Airspun, um, or a very light pressed face powder, which is what I'm going to do today. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade Medium 2. And I'm just taking this on a super fluffy brush. You definitely want to use a fluffy brush for this step. So this is the Sigma Spotlight Duster F37. And I'm just going to very lightly tap this into the face you want to use pressing motions not swiping motions or swirling motions because you want to continue to press the product into the face so that we don't move around all those cream products underneath 
Now, to further highlight that under eye, I like to take my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I use this little banana shade right in the middle because that shade really has a brightening effect. It has an undertone that, again, is going to cancel out any discoloration that you have under there. So I'm just taking that on the same exact brush, the Sigma Spotlight Duster, and pressing that into the under eye area. And I just ended up switching to the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 because I wanted something with a little bit more precision and just something that I could get a little bit more um, payoff with because this palette is honestly really amazing. It's very, very creamy and pigmented. Um, so I wanted to get like the full effect. I always do this when I'm doing tutorials for some reason. I forget liquid highlighter. I don't know what it is. Like When I'm like doing my everyday makeup off camera, I'm j I just know to do it. But for some reason, whenever I get on camera, all of a sudden my mind is just not with me and I forget. So I'm going to still add on the liquid highlighter although it is going to apply a lot more seamless if you do it before you powder anything but yolo we're still gonna do it so today I'm gonna be using this highlighter which I've been loving lately so this is Benefit Sunbeam and I like it because of the applicator it kind of looks like a little nail polish but it's so easy to apply so I take this down the nose like so and then also a little bit here the tops of the cheekbones. Alrighty, we got that under control. We remembered. It's all right. We're going to move on. Um, and then set down the contour. So I know this is a lot of steps, but this is like full out, full contour and highlight routine. This is what I would do. So I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades from the Kat Von D palette and press that into the face with my MAC 168 brush. This is a really important step and a really good tip to press, 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 because like I said a million times in this video, it is so important not to wipe away those cream products that that we already have down. Then for the nose, I'm honestly taking the exact same product but on a different brush. This is the best brush for nose contours, um, for powder nose contours, I should say. So this is the Morphe E47. It has a super flat and narrow edge. So I literally like stamp it on to my nose to do the contouring and it's amazing. So like I said, I'm literally stamping it on to the sides of the nose around where we have already put that highlight down. And then I'm just gonna blend that out with any eyeshadow brush. Then my favorite part adding highlight so this is now now we're done with like the contouring and highlighting section but now we're gonna add on highlighter so this is the Ofer Cosmetics Rodeo Drive highlighter one of my all-time favorites it's such a beautiful formula very pigmented very creamy and the perfect gold so I'm just applying that with my Sephora Pro Fan 65 to the tops of the cheekbones and you can see I do have like a little breakout here so um, you actually don't want to apply the highlighter to that area you want to apply Apply almost like around it or at least that's what I do you could skip the highlighter too but I still do it I have trouble keeping this part straight to be completely honest I don't know what it is I think it's like just my natural nose isn't like completely straight here so I have a little trouble with that but that's okay and then right here above the cupid's bow kind of looks like snot but if it's glowy snot we're okay with that and of course, you guys know the inner corners of the eye. And just to make sure that everything is really nice and blended out, I do like to go back in with um, a fluffier brush. So this is the brush that I usually use for bronzer. This is the MAC 135. And I just lightly kind of blend out the edges so that that highlighter and the contour and the bronzer all kind of blend together nicely. That's going to be it for this video. So this is the finished look. I really like this particular step-by-step -step way of contouring and highlighting just because I feel like it all kind of melts together. It doesn't look like you just stuck on some contour and called it a day. It just creates a very, very flawless finish. So I hope you guys find it helpful. Let me know if you do want me to do sort of that series geared towards beginners because I would be so down. I really want to, you know, I think it's I don't know. Let me know if you think it's helpful when I do go over kind of like the basics like this and go very step by step, very detailed and everything like that. Share my tips and tricks because I never want you guys to feel intimidated by makeup. I want it to be fun for you guys because I know when I was getting to makeup, I was intimidated. So if I can help out in any way just by going over the basics and, you know, just teaching you guys a little bit more about makeup for those of you who are beginners out there, then again, I would be so down. So let me know in the comment section if that's something that you would like. 
And I do have a giveaway for you guys for this video. So this is the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick that I use today to do my cream contouring. It's one of my favorite cream contour products, so I'm really happy that I can give one away to you guys. And all you have to do to enter to win is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below your favorite summer jam right now. Like your favorite song of the moment. Mine is I'm the one. Like I love that song so much. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Not gonna lie. But that is going to be it for this video. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time.